Hi, John here. I just uh, returned back from the gym and got a phone call from Sue Nakora. So I'm just going to ring her up. It's um, three o'clock now um, on Saturday, uh, the 15th of October 2016. I want to catch up with her and see what she has to say. We had a big workout. By the way, I've lost another tooth. So that's a bit of a funeral. I have to get some more one day soon. Who was it? Oh, Kingy. Was it? One, two. Excuse me, I'll just see who rang. Kingy. Looks like he rang. Oh, Kingy, did you ring me? Oh, it must be Sue. Sue. Yeah, must be Sue. Okay. I was talking to her. She's going to come up on the 26th, 25th with the money of Right? Okay. You back or you still down there eating powers? Hey? You you're still in the south? You're still down there? No, no, no. Oh, I saw oh, you way up there. Who? One prank to the other. <laughs> okay. So, uh, nothing much, I'll just uh, catch up at some stage. Yeah, that's all. Okay, mate. Bye. Bye. What's happening here? I went there and there was a call. received. Who should call me back? Who do you want to call back? Frequently called. Now, who? On 22 p.m. Sorry, I didn't realize the camera was rolling. Yes, please. Yes, please. Now I've got to Yeah, good. Uh, so did you ring me up? I, I, I was in the gym. I was. I was getting. I was getting my my body fit. Oh, he's up at Waitangi. He, he's there now. You can get him on a on his mobile. You've got his mobile. I just got off the phone to him. He's been down south and then he's uh, he's come back up and gone straight up there. Yeah. Oh, answer phone. Oh, well, he's he's there right now. And, you know, I just got off uh, to him, so he must have just switched his phone on or something. Yeah, I'll, I'll just tell, send him a text. I'll send him a text, a text now, Arthur, and then um, he can ring you back. Okay. Okay then. All right. Bye. 
Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, that's true. I'm just text uh, Kingy. I'm just trying to coordinate things between the Tomata. I'll go and see them next Wednesday. Um, Wuli Peta and, and Hohepa Epiha in uh, um, Hokianga, Otawa Marae, Otawa Marae, and um, try and coordinate the whole program for the 28th. They'll be up there on the, at Waitangi on the 26th, 27th, and the 28th, but I'm just worrying about the 28th in the morning, early, 5 o'clock. Hello? That's key. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just um, sorting out um, Kingy's role, um, Sue's role. Sue plays an important part in the Confederation of Chiefs, and um, Kingy of the Marae in the Land um, title, that um, Uchitonga title he'll be holding. I'll be sorting out the Williams family uh, when this is all said and done, I'll get back together with them and put them right in their place on the titles, but Kingi is looking after all the land in Ngāti Kawa and Ngāti Rahiri and Rehia, uh, well in particular Ngāti Kawa from the Waitangi Marae. Uh, the idea was to bring them all together with the Confederation of Chiefs and bring them together with the incorporations and bring together with the Taumata. The Taumata is the upper house of Parliament in the Waitangi Marae now. It was for years in the Titi Marae, but it never, it never uh, functioned as well as it should do because Everyone was in different throws. A lot of the work with the incorporations was in the paddock, in the camping ground, and um, the communication was lost between there and inside the Titi Marae with the elders or the Tomata. Always said no. Pitapi Apa, uh, the chief then before Kingi, always said no because he didn't get the full story of what was going on. So it was very difficult for the um, the um, Maori um, incorporations and for the um, confederation to bring their um, kopapa together or their all their work together to form something to self-run themselves and have financial means. Uh, so that failed um, miserably through the years. And we're at that point now where we're, I'm hoping, after all my time in the in that marae, that I would make a contribution to bringing them together with the 
government uh, of the day and they'll continue on as ever with what they do but it's the hapu and the <coughs> elders uh, right through the country that uh, need to look at where they're going uh, with their flag um, from King William, that part of it, their commercial venture uh, alongside the Crown corporations and their businesses. So it's going to be um, a combined effort for them to um, bring all their resources together and try to make it work this time, last time. This will be the last time I'll be doing anything of the sort. I was in our know, corporations for a long time, but Hall Hepa Maipedia wanted me to take over the incorporations to lead them, but I had the Aquafans at that time with Japan, and having come back from Japan, it was what I wanted to do, work in the sea, and we've still got plans for the sea with the tidal turbines in the economy for this country and for 250 countries with the flag. That's where we're going with it. It is our flag, it is our property and jurisdiction to use whenever we want to, whenever we are ready, and its instruments, um, including the pound note and King William's Acts of Westminster Parliament, 1832 to 1837. So we have all those um, tools to use and as well as our native land titles that um, uh, are connected straight to Britain. All right, so um, we're not going to um, try and think we can run this country. I'm, I'm not going to take that on, but Sue Nakora is very confident in doing that. But then again, she needs the funding. You need a few billion to start that off. And she has her own set up with the United Nations, well they're at war now, so uh, they're going around um, door to door in America taking all the guns off and it doesn't look good, it just doesn't look good and so the federal government, the Congress wants to kick them out of America and so Sue has to hurry up if she wants to go to the UN to get her money to run her Maori government and I'm supporting her but I have my own set up with the Maui Crown Commonwealth Government of the World. In fact the Maui Crown King William the Fourth Federal State uh, Commonwealth Government of the World. That's in long. In short it's Maui Commonwealth Government of the World. Okay? So that's under that flag too. International and the flag here is for the country to uh, set up themselves to trade anywhere in the world as well but from an angle of law here as applied to the land and whatever they want to do I'm not going down that path, I'm leaving that for the incorporations, uh, the rangatahi, the taumata, the kaumatua and Sunakora's government um, so she's proficient with being the Maori policy maker for the Labour government with Sir Geoffrey Palmer in the 1980s period time. He wasn't in there very long, 80, 85. That's when she um, uh, was with Mohi Manukau and me in the confederation, that confederation. So there's several other people doing their own confederation work with the flag. Uh, they're quite welcome to that because any Maori uh, and British immigrant here um, have the right to use the flag for the right purpose, for, for the right reason for the hapu. It's not there for the iwi, it's there for the hapu and their manahiri or the people who associate with them. Uh, so you've got those confederation people and then I'm sticking to Mohi Manukau's confederation when he was president and then um, um, Dawi Hongi became the president and then as far as I'm concerned 
Akarana, Amato, or Dan Davis stepped in after that. And there was a bit of a battle between him and Carla White um, from Napoli. And so it went, I don't know where after that. Uh, so I'm still sticking to the original Mohi Manikau's confederation because I've got all his, all his documents here. I have all his titles here and all the history of the Manikau Land Company and also the British uh, connection with his Rogan family and my Rogan family to Britain and tied up in it. Okay? So that's how that works. But with Sue... <clears throat> Sue has been to the United Nations with uh, Sir Geoffrey Palmer, but didn't materialise with getting um, the hapu recognised at that time. So now we have um, a different picture on what's happening in the world, and the Queen exiting into the EU Parliament has now made herself a conflict of interest, or anything that to do with the Queen is coming in front of this flag in King William IV and Maui ground. So that's the way we operate. I'm talking for the King and for those tamata, kumatua, I speak for the King and nothing else. That's it. The King, the Chief and nothing else. So in fact it's Kingi I talk to and the British connection there, the, the, the military, the Westminster and our own political party there. Moai King William Party and the company there, okay? Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited in London. Okay, so that's that's all I, I deal with. It's just like John P. He's Prime Minister of this country and he he, he goes by himself. So I'll go by myself. And if I if necessary Kingy will go too uh, to connect the other end up. But all I have to do is do the documents, the legal documents and that's the end of that. That overrides everything in this country. The uh, Maori government can have their own say but they need their own funding and when I get funding with the flag because they can use the flag for however they want to raise money and I will use the flag for how I'm going to raise money for the commonwealth of the world, the whole world because what happens is this. The Maori took the flag around the country here it hasn't gone anywhere because it has no legacy, le legal um, application. That's what my barrister said. It's got no legal legs uh, and it's not recognised internationally in any country trading. And so what I've done is I've taken that flag and legalised it with Kingi and Willie Pater and Wuhipa Epiha and some others inside Waitangi Marae, King French Court, on the 15th of April 2016 this year. So that legalised the flag and legalised the acts of Westminster Parliament 1832-1837 King William IV. It also legalised the pound note and our mortgage levy debtor instrument, the pound note, in that marae. All, everything I did on Titi Marae is online you can see what I was setting up to go in there and pass all our things through there from the Upper House Parliament of the what, uh, Titi Marae on Waitangi Day. I put those things through and that's when this year, that's when we should have put the flag up but they weren't listening to me and lost the opportunity to put the flag up then. So now we're putting it up on the 28th of October 2016 as leading off from the upper house in Kingi's Marae. In that Titi Marae, the upper house now has shifted into the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. So now we are legally operating our commercial trading bank business right through the world with a pound note and a flag and the two memorials, King William IV Memorial and Maui Crown, standing in London. Queen Elizabeth's Great Court and Dunedin here with the crown on his head. The one, the, the, the Mai, the real Mai in, in Queen's, Queen's Bench Court, um, Queen, Queen Elizabeth's Great Court in London has no hat on his head. The Queen took the hat off and put her crown 
on her head, the metal one, to mimic or make out that she has a crown from uh, somewhere. She had no coronation, you see. She hasn't got a real coronation. Only King William IV and Queen Victoria got the coronation, not Queen Elizabeth II. She faked it. I say she faked it. Everybody in Britain knows that she faked it, but she's using the Moai crown spirit to do all her business inside that Waitangi Marae King French Court for the whole world. So all I'm doing is I'm going around where she went and sneaked our flag on the bottom of the ship or in her Governor General um, with his business around the world. Okay, so I'm going to audit the whole lot in Britain with our partner there, the military and my political connections there, our party, and also Westminster. And here, uh, it's domestic, um, um, where whoever's going to run a uh, um, successful government with their own funding will, uh, if it's ever going to be the Maori government, they will have to come up with the money. But Sue just told me something um, just now that um, she'll call me back to see what's going to go on. I don't want anything to interfere with what I'm doing because I've always had people tampering with everything I do. Even the police tampered with my information on Cook Street, 6677 Cook Street. <coughs> so I'll sort that out after the 28th. I'll sort that lot out with the pound note and the levy debt instruments. It's all in the ANZ bank. It's all ready to go and it's with the barrister and the barrister's being shy of these instruments because they're legal now. They're legal. I'll make this statement. All the documents I got on Facebook are legal including this video and all the other videos, the 910 videos or so. Everything on Twitter is legal under the king of Britain, UK, and the New World Order. There, it's legal. We're operating that company, my Powerhouse Group Limited Limited, in London, legally to the king. Okay? So, one more time, the I'm talking for the King of England, King of Britain, UK, and it looks like only the King of England and, and King of Aotea, New Zealand and Pacific Islands, because Scotland is running away from home and Ireland's already gone um, into the EU Parliament. They're going there thinking they're going to be alright, but it doesn't look like it. Not with the way Trump is going and Hillary Clinton getting caught on line. There's a lot going on with uh, Hillary Clinton uh, being caught um, with all their fraud and corruption. The same as John Key is going to get caught here. It's going to go block like that. That's when we step straight in with the Maui Crown, Commonwealth Government of the World, over this country and over the rest of the world, where the Pope has gone with his, with our eight-point star flag and St. Patrick's Order. Church order. Okay, so that's how it looks today. I've been fitting up for three hours in the gym. I've been pushing hard, the weights lifting, weight lifting, a bit of muscle there now. It's a little bit, bit bigger. It's going to get big, bigger, and the lungs are getting bigger, so I can go and dive in the sea down there. If the Navy's there on the Renfrew Bank, or I'll go down with them, you see. It don't take me long to go down, drop like a stone right to the bottom straight away equalized on the way down, but um, unfortunately for my tooth, I've lost another one because of the, all the sugar I've been eating, I've gone off the sugar now and the milk and all the bread, white bread and all the rest of the chunky foods that I've got laced with um, this and that, um, toxins and everything, uh, to make them last and the meat flipped a lot and just gone on to uh, more health um, um, diet food and um, uh, water, lots of water, see? So, I'll get my teeth done when I get rich one day, soon. Uh, and so, um, um, 
I'll just um, um, leave it at that. And I've got to go back to the pool because I have to race back to go on to the uh, to sing to to ring Tunicora. And then I head back to the spa and swimming pool and do my ten laps and a bit more. There's a lot of people there now. And I've got to fight my way onto the lanes and try and swim fast like them and keep up with them. But if there's too many before long, I'll be swimming under the water. They can have the top half, I'll have the bottom half. I'll go from one end to the other under the water all the way. Uh, I can get about a third of the way. A little bit of time I'll inch my way back to where I used to be with a flat stomach. Most of my stomach has gone down now. My pet belly is gone, the pot belly is gone. And I'm feeling a little bit okay. And that's it. Yeah. So we'll see you later. Have a nice uh, weekend. Saturday today. And um, it's a nice day outside. Something's going on in Odehu. Lots of people down the main street blocked off. Having a bit of a carnival or something. Thoughts. So uh, there's nothing more I want to say really until I speak to uh, Sue tonight and Kingy. Uh, Kingy's up at Waitangi at the moment, so he's been down south and come back and gone straight up there. Uh, we're meant to have a meeting, but never mind, that can wait. And um, I'll just continue to plan things up. I'm just waiting back on the Navy um, from uh, John Martin's uh, going to um, um, hopefully. Uh, let us have a 21-gun salute for at least 182 years to celebrate this flag we have from the King of England, King William IV, and the British Navy military. He was a Navy man for 50 years in the Navy. He built that up, the biggest Navy in the world, in Britain, Devonport. Um, so we've got a Devonport over here, and um, so uh, that's what we're celebrating is all that period of time that the chiefs have held that flag and now we're just going around the world with it soon with the turbines i see a lot of interest and people want to know more about the turbine the moai turbine so i've explained it but i'm still trying to get time to draw it up on the 3d cad and um the solid works or iron cad and get something together to um uh, get ready for the um, uh, investing and the shares. The shares are sitting there going nowhere because I'm doing it myself and uh, Jamie's busy with her family but um, however we'll get around to that yet. I've got Jackie in Scotland looking after things once we get going. She's um, her and her husband Andy will jump in with me and uh, now we have um, Rainy Powers in um, California with um, Daryl Payne, however every case in the world with uh, them two on the same page, uh, but they've got more complex issues there, and I'm just telling them to stick to the King's laws and the Sheriff, and they won't go wrong. That'll make the correction. The correction and all the laws from Westminster will change into the King's laws in the court bench, and then will square the box and square everything out with the land everywhere in the world. Okay, that's what that eight point star is, the new world order. That's why I'm saying we're claiming that as well because it's on our flag, the eight points. And also St. Patrick's is our title with King William the Third. And um, from then on King William the Fourth and his ex of the Bank of England Act, eighteen thirty four, and the Bow Note Act, Money Act. 1834 is our um, jurisdictions of using the power note as currency against the tidal turbine power from the sea water and also from fraud um, and corruption of the King's Bench Court by the Queen's Bench Court legislative acts for Parliament and statutes, laws, and everything else that's been going on. We're going to investigate every square inch of land in this country, New Zealand. Every title I'm going to do under the Maui Commonwealth Government of the world. It can't be done any way else because we have the titles 
and the original documents to this country, straight to Britain. Okay, all the ones that John Key got in Wellington are Australian second hand. They are second hand titles. They got confiscated in 1868 and reissued under the Manukau Land Title Company, Manukau Land Company. Okay, that's where it came in from all those titles up north. For you people, they got seized and were issued again. And those are the titles I've got, the ones that are being reissued under those acts of Westminster Parliament. Okay, so I'm going to set that all up in Britain. The, the British are obligated to come here and fix it up. In fact, I get a judge from there, a High Court judge to come here, and he'll just rule on anything we do with the flag and the king and the memorials to the land, okay? So Sue is very proficient in the queen side of the bench with Kingy and his ancestors, Queen Victoria and King Edward, on this side. In the meantime, on this side, there's nobody doing it. There's nobody can talk for the king without the titles. Um, Willie, Peter, no one can talk for the king straight to England because they haven't got the titles, the land titles, okay? You can talk on this side till the cows come home with the Tituri Whenua Act, 1993 Act, and Statute Acts from Parliament and the Maori Government Acts and their legislative, um, whatever they're doing in the upper house, but that's a long shot off. It's a long time to put that together because all of the Confederation old people with Sue had when I wasn't there all day. They're all dead, including Bohi Manigal. He's dead. Okay? And Haru Tutonga and all those other ones. Grand Fane. That was the other one. Grand Fane. Uh, and the other fella. There's another fella from up there, Henderson Way. So they they have gone and they have to she has to restart a new Maori government and that's gonna take some beating because she's gotta go around the South Island again and around the North Island to try and gather up the hapus. Just the quickest way to do it is to make it appealing from this side to go alongside the British government in dual. The Maui Crown Commonwealth Government of the World is dual government there to here. This is a different, it's a Commonwealth government like the Commonwealth of Australia government. It is under the Queen, not the King. It's under the Queen. That's subject to this one. That'll be subject to the King's Bench Court because all their titles have come from Queen Victoria on this side, on the Kingy side. So when it comes to the monetary factor or the funding or how they're going to fund themselves, um, I'll just say this on this video to Kingy and the Hapus. You have to create your own revenue if you know what to do with the flag, because I'm going to stay on this side with the flag commerce straight to England. This one, the commerce of the flag will be here. It has to grow here and then trade around the world. And the setting up, this one's already set up to go around the world in 250 countries on the king's side. So these ones can't mix up with these ones. The queen can't mix her laws with the king's laws. The Queen's laws came out of this law, but they can't use the 1830 to 1837 Acts with the Hanging Chains in it and the Execution Act. The Pirates Act is on the side. We're using the pirate side of the flag as well as the commercial side of the flag and the banking side of the flag and the protectorate of the British military on this side. This side's got no protection from the British. It's got to get it from here. Too, no Cora, and you watch this video. You gotta get your British protection from here or straight from Britain yourself. But if you go to, if anybody goes to Britain, there's people being to Westminster and they they'll just shove them out. They go to the UN and shove them out because they don't hold the titles to the country. I've got them. I've got them from those old people. Okay, including Del Weaver. I've got them. So you have to stick around here because there's plenty of work to do with the land. It's your land, the Hapu's land, that 
everybody occupied, but they have a right too. Everybody occupying land's got a right. They have a right. See, all he has, we're doing here on this side, they're looking for the crooks to put them through the King's Bench Court. And you need to be proficient in that too, because you can't use the Queen's acts here in the Queen's Bench sense with all the documents you've got with the Queen's head on it and the Maori's name on it. This side's only Moai name and King William. This side's got Iwi Maori and incorporations in it. It's stuck. It can't undo it. Otherwise, you have to make your own laws and your own government and your own everything. Your own flag, different. You, you can't. If you're going to use the Confederation's 1835 Declaration flag, you must use it for the right reason. Otherwise, no one's going to trade with you in the world if you haven't got the full mounting or all the layers of what it means on this side. See? So I'm selecting for this side people around the world in 250 countries to run this one globally. Because the new world order is set up for this one here with the king because that's the king is the Pope's friend. Okay? King William the third and King William the fourth is the Pope's friend, but they still battle amongst themselves with their kings. Okay? One king battling up against the other and still the same Germans on this side, the same Germans on this side. So that's the difference I want to make clear. Um, that when we go on to the Waitangi Marae, I've hired it, so that means you'll have to follow what I say. Um, because I don't want it changed. I don't want anybody with the big mouth to come along and start barking away. We're going to have 10 minutes each because there's at least 10 speakers. That's 100, 10, 10, 10 minutes, that's 100 minutes. That's one hour, uh, one hour and 40 minutes. You see, we only got two hours in there. And there's not enough time for the flag outside, so I've got to cut it back. I have to cut back who talks, and no one's going to talk forever about something else. This is only about the flag going up and your laws and our laws on this side, the king's laws and your own native for the land here. This one here is covering the land, covering that side, back side. If it gets funding, it throws it over there and throws it to every other 250 countries. If it gets funding, like how it should be with the crown jewels and, and the trust, the Queen Victoria Trust, it's going to be this one to get it, not this one. This one can't do it because you've got no le legal legs to do it because you've got to go through King William IV jurisdictions here to get it, right? Not here. It won't work because you're stuck here on the land with John Key. If you're using those documents, you can't use those. two separate documents. All the stuff you see on my Facebook has got nothing to do with the Queen. It's all King William IV and Moai. That's it. The Moai is a native and he's got memorials. Statue. That's it. This side here, the memorials on this side is the marais, right? It's stuck on the land. That's their memorial with the ticker tickle on the front and the popo, the title on the land, the popo in the ground, their ancestors, okay? So this one doesn't interfere with that one. This one is trading. It's only a trade and military hardware, okay? This one's got no military. It, it can't do it without going to get it from this one. So this one is actually a federal state. This one is a local government. It's, it's, it's either a native government or Maori government or some sort of government while John Key's government is running. You see, so he has the right to govern his people. But he can't govern a Maori government if they have the money to run it. But in the meantime, they've got no money. John Key gets to run the country and the Maoris. You see, so you've got a big mix-up over here. And that's why I've gone, gone right out of it, because I've had enough of it. I've had enough of it. It can't get out of the rut. It's debtor. It's full of debt. Here, it's clean cut. No debt. Okay? Absolutely no debt. Square one. Clean cut. Okay? It'll start building itself up and create it straight off. So that's that's the difference I wanted to make quite plain to you in my fit state today. I'm building up these resources so I can paddle my way through the sea and go and get some seafood.
Okay, I'm hoping I can go back and put my dive gear on, my scuba da diving gear over there, and put a new one, a second hand one, so I can go and jump in the water and go and get some fish, fresh stuff, all those quarries and that. Okay, so that's all I want to say for now. Um, other than um, I feel a bit of loss with my tooth gone, one after the other, dropping out, and this big crater in there now, and, and I'm going to do something about it. Make me look alright. Okay, but I'm not too bothered. As long as I get the message out, that's more important than losing a tooth. We'll soon get one. We'll, we'll soon get a new set and make make it look good. Okay, thank you very much. See you later. Bye for now.